Mariko Tamaki's LGBT graphic novel, Skim, 2008, is about a teenage girl struggling with various emotions when a classmate's boyfriend kills himself. She also struggles with questions about her own sexuality and the difference between love and friendship. The book won both the 2008 Ignitz Award for Outstanding Graphic Novel and the 2009 Doug Wright Award. Tamaki is a playwright, actor, writer, and social activist. She has a master's degree in women's studies from York University. The protagonist, 16-year-old Kimberly Keiko Cameron, also known as Skim, is a Japanese-Canadian goth who loves studying Wicca. Although she is nonconformist, she worries that she could not fit in even if she wanted to. The problem is that she attends an all-girls private school, where most girls are white, skinny, and conceited. Skim can't help but stand out. Skim's best friend is Lisa Sower, also an aspiring Wiccan who loves exploring the strange and unusual. Although Skim is friends with Lisa, they do not have much in common besides Wicca. Lisa never listens to her or asks how she is feeling. Skim wishes she and Lisa were closer, but it is better having one friend than none. The most popular girl in school, Katie Matthews, is great at everything and the teachers love her. Her best friend, Julie, is the second most popular girl. She hangs on to Katie's every word and doesn't do anything without Katie's approval. Katie also has an attractive boyfriend, John Red Deer. He is the star volleyball player at his all-boys school. Some people claim that he is gay, and his classmates tease and bully him for it. He denies the rumors. One day, John dumps Katie. She is devastated, she thought they were in love. She plans to beg him to take her back, but he overdoses on his mother's medication, killing himself. Katie's mourning affects the social dynamics and general mood across the entire school. Eventually, Katie starts a new group called Girls Celebrate Life, GCL. GLC promotes mental well-being and school spirit, though personally, Katie doesn't believe in the message. She doesn't like all the attention either. The shift in school morale takes its toll on Skim, who does not join GCL. Drifting through the school day, she doesn't connect with anything. She is tired and she doesn't enjoy the things she normally loves. She realizes that she is depressed, but she doesn't know what is causing it. She assumes that, once school gets back to normal, her mood will improve. Lisa isn't so sure, but Lisa is more worried about how Skim's mood makes her feel than Skim's well-being. Ms. Archer, Skim's English and drama teacher, notices a change in Skim. She is the only teacher whom Skim respects, if anyone can get through to Skim, it's Ms. Archer. However, Skim misinterprets her teacher's interest. She thinks that Ms. Archer fancies her, which makes her look at her teacher in a new way. As Skim wrestles with questions about her sexuality, she grows closer to Katie. Katie figures out that Julie isn't a true friend. All Julie cares about is raising her own social profile. Skim, on the other hand, listens to Katie and sympathizes with her grief. Katie recognizes that just because Skim is Wiccan doesn't mean she's scary. At the same time, Skim learns that Katie is a deep and very loyal girl. Katie doesn't want people smothering her with sympathy, which is why she likes Skim. Skim just lets her talk it out. Meanwhile, Skim stops hanging out with Lisa so much, and not just because she is depressed. Lisa wants to join the cheerleading squad to find a boyfriend from the local school. She finds Skim boring because she is not interested in flirting. What Lisa doesn't know is that Skim is obsessed with Ms. Archer. Her parents don't notice her obsession because they're too busy fighting. Recently separated, they are always arguing about money and blaming each other for the divorce. Between the depression, her feelings towards Ms. Archer, and losing Lisa, Skim finds life overwhelming. She sleeps and eats too much, and people notice her putting weight on, which only makes her feel worse. Ms. Archer and Skim spend a private moment together one day. The moment leads to a kiss, which confuses Skim more than ever. Skim agonizes over what the kiss means, she plans to ask Ms. Archer about it. Before she has the chance, Ms. Archer leaves the school. Skim is devastated, feeling that she somehow drove Ms. Archer away. Skim assumes that no one loves her. Sensing that Skim is in pain, Katie asks her how she is feeling. Although Skim doesn't tell her the truth about Ms. Archer, it feels good to have someone listen to her and care what happens to her. 
The novel suggests that Katie and Skim might start dating. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.